previously on Let's Play StarCraft Remastered Brood War. I've never seen a creature like this before. Test subject 29 classified. Protoss Zerg hybrid. Imperfect cryo hibernation. Psionic emanations minimal. No. Magnificent, isn't it? What? Who are you? I've had many names throughout the millennia, young prodigal. You would know me best as Samir Guran. Kerrigan's card sort. Is this part of her twisted schemes? No. Young Kerrigan could not have engineered this grand experiment. Although her rebirth into this Zerg Swarm has sped up my progress, I can assure you that this endeavor is quite beyond her narrow understanding. If you are not her pawn, then what are you? I am a servant of a far greater power. A power that has slept for countless ages, and is reflected in the creature within that cell. Have you any conception of what you've created here? Do you have any idea what this... this hybrid is capable of? Of course I do. This creature is the completion of a cycle. Its role in the cosmic order was preordained when the stars were young. Behold the culmination of your history. All I behold is an abomination. Your violence, young prodigal, is typical, as is your inability to comprehend the greater scheme of things. You can destroy all of the specimens here. It will do you no good. For I have seeded the hybrid on many, many worlds. You will never find them all before they awaken. And when they do, your universe will be changed forever. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Remastered Brood War. Well, as you can tell from the last episode, it was pretty intense as, intense, as somehow we determined that the Terrans are trying to make a Protoss-Zerg hybrid and it either is Duran or is orchestrated by Duran, or Duran is somehow involved with this. And I don't know what the hell is going on with that, but what I do know is that we have one more mission to do, and I can tell it's the end because it's Omega. Of course I say that, but who the heck knows? I assume it's the final mission because it's Omega and it's 10, but who the hell knows? All right, let's go. All right, we're over the planet Char, and there's a base of operations, okay? Cerebrate, our scouts have just identified three separate fleets approaching this platform, with Duran having disappeared, and the bulk of my brood still on the surface of Char. You'll need to hold off the invaders by yourself. You sound worried, Kerrigan. Have I caught you at a bad time? Not at all, Arcturus. How'd you manage to scrape up your new fleet? Been raiding the salvage dumps again? I called in a few favors, made a few concessions. You'd be surprised to see how many special interest groups in this sector want to see you dead. I'm sorry to have to disappoint your new friends, Arcturus. But you really shouldn't have attempted this stunt. It'll take more than your three little fleets to bring me down. Three fleets? Don't play dumb, Arcturus. I've already spotted the other two fleets. Kerrigan, this is Artanis. My brethren and I have come to avenge the deaths of Phoenix, the Matriarch, and all of the other Protoss who fell before the Swarm. It is long past time you paid for your crimes against our people. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> the Protoss too. Care to take a guess as to who the Third Fleet is? No need to guess. It's Dugal and the remainder of the UED fleet. That is correct, Kerrigan. This is Admiral de Gaulle. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Earth Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, Admiral. You'll have to let me think for a minute. You know, Admiral, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. 
How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, Admiral. You see, at this point, I'm pretty much the Queen Bitch of the Universe. And not all of your little soldiers or spaceships will stand in my way again. So be it. <laughs> the Queen Bitch of the Universe. I absolutely love that line. And at least we know where Artanis is now, so that's good. But oh boy, we gotta hold off three fleets by ourselves. Okay, here we go. And we don't even get a tip, but we just gotta rock and roll. All right, let's go. All right, so standard operating procedure. Let's get some drones going and set up some defenses. So I'm gonna control eight that one and rally point there. Control zero my hive, rally point there. Control nine my other hatchery and rally point there. All right, very good. Yeah, so let's just get everyone going, and we want to immediately get our economy started. Okay, 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 okay. Get some drones going. Yeah, start pumping out these drones. This is good. And let's get an overlord going. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just like all of our missions, we want to get our defenses set up. Now, you can see we start with a hive, and we, we really have three... Uh, three things that we need to hold off. Three choke points that we need to hold off. So let's get some creep colonies, go or some sunken colonies going on all of them. And the first thing we want to do is let's get faster movement for our overlords. There we go. So we can get them rocking and rolling. Right, very good. And then, like I said, we're just going to start set up, setting up our defenses. You want to get about four creep colonies or sunken colonies at each location. Go. And let's get them going on gas. And how are we doing over here? Because the enemy is going to hit you. They're going to come at you pretty quickly. And we want to be ready for it at a moment's notice. Let's get you guys there. And let's get you over here. Uh, let's get it over here so my troops can escape. All right. Excellent. Whoa! We're coming already. What's that medic doing here? Don't worry, it won't last. There you go. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, looks like the troops came from up there. Oh boy, I wasn't ready for that. Oh boy, here they come. Yeah, see, that doesn't take long. Wow! Okay, Zerglings, get up there. I see that. I see that. Go get them. Okay. Well, we better, let's see, get faster hydralisk movement so they can get into place there. Okay, well, let's... I see that. Wow. Okay, they're coming at me. Quick. Okay. Well, let's get some things reestablished quickly. All right. Zerglings, you go over there. All right, let's get let's get things reestablished. We're okay. We're okay. We're just fine. We're just fine. Get these drones working. All right, looks like we need to get a couple up here. No problem. No problem. Okay. Now we also want to get some hydralisks going and some drones because one of the another thing that we want to do is we need to get a base, or we need to, um, we need to get a base established, or we need to get a second base established, which we can do. So today's ep so, uh, today's episode is going to be dedicated to getting everything set up, and then the next episode, well, actually, well, look at that hydralis, he was going after it. Uh, the next episode will be dedicated to actually taking down the enemy. So, get that going. Excellent. Like I said, if you get four or five sunken colonies at each location, you'll be okay. All right. By the way, you also notice you start. We also notice that you start out with a hive, which means that we can get some of our most powerful structures right away, which is good. I like that. You also want to get a few hydralisks at each location, ready to defend. Eventually, I'll get lurkers and get that all set up. 
Uh, just like, just like normal. Okay, get there. There we go. And actually, you know what I want to get? We're going to do this early. We're going to get a Defiler Mound early. So that I can get some, uh... Hydralisks there. Let's get a few Hydralisks over here, just in case we get some observers that come in. And Hydralisks over there. there go! And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a team of 12 Hydralisks. Overlord there. And there's a base I want to take just to the north. I'm also going to take a Defiler with me. So that I can get all that going. Oh, shoot, I forgot to upgrade my attack range. That's going to be important. I need to do that for sure. There we go. Yeah, the, early on in the mission, the, the biggest problem you run into, as with most of these missions, is uh, gas. Is we don't have enough gas. And there's a, there is a mineral field down there, but I'm going to get that a little bit later. Okay. What do I want to do now? And actually, I'm going to have this over there. Follow them. How many is that? Uh, boy. Because you're really going to need 12 to hold off the enemy. Uh, let's get one more. Right. How about right there? We'll eventually want to line this place up. I really, uh, actually, I want to defend... Okay, I'm almost going to be able to upgrade my attack range. Good. There we go. I'm, I'm getting a plethora of minerals, and that's a good thing. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to get one defiler. And then once I got that done, then I'm going to make my attack. Then I'm going to take the base to the north. Nope, and again, I'm getting a bunch of minerals now, but that's fine. You start off with a really good supply of minerals at your base, which is good. And you're going to need them, because the, like I said, the enemy hits really hard. You'll see that here in just a little bit. Zerglings down there, so Hydralisks can get out. Okay, how are we doing on getting that defiler? Okay, I do want one defiler, and then I'm gonna get 12 Hydralisks and a defiler, and then we'll be good to go. All right. Because the is gonna help me defend the base up top. I just realized why. So we didn't have a... I didn't have a third drone on. thought I had a third drone, but I guess I don't. Okay, good. Now I'm going to get... What? Yeah, you suck, Observer. <laughs> you know what I can do? I can make some overlords so I don't get low on supply. Go. Nope. Yeah, okay. Base is in good shape now. Uh, by the way, I will also mention that we have three fleets we need to take out. The fleet to the north which is primarily air attacks. Good. Oh, wow. They're coming to me from up there. Go get them. Oh, that's a Dark Templar, too. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay. They are coming at me from up top. Holy shit. Go get them. Wow. I better get some more drones. Nope. We can reestablish some sun. Oh, I lost one sunk colony. It's actually not too bad. I saw that. Okay. And now I'm going to control to my defiler. Get that guy out of the way. And then I'm going to go take this base up top. My defiler by what? Yeesh. Okay, get back. The sunken colonies get in there and do their work. There we go. Keep those there in case they come at you with siege tanks. Okay, very good. Now, let's go this way, and my defiler's gonna come with me as well. Sunken. And I'm gonna bring a drone. Okay, let's go. Like I said, there is a base up here, and it's a base that's actually pretty easy. What the? Oh, that was a spider mine. I was like, what the hell? 
came after me. I'll bet it was a spider mine. There you go. I was like, why can the oh the oh the overlord's blind. I was like, why can the overlord not see anything? Because it was blind, that's why. But you overlord, come up here. Okay. Hydra's going. More hydras. Okay, and I got my Nidus Canal going, so that's good. Spire. Because eventually I will need a spire. Okay, let's take out this little mini base. Overlord. There you go. Yeah, this is the base I want to take. Okay, drone come up here. Violet come up here. Alright, very good. And yeah, let's get these hydralisks. You come up here. Yeah, I see you. And drone. So take the second base. There you go. You'll notice I built a Nidus Canal too. Because uh, I'm gonna basically okay. I, let me kind of go over my little mini battle plan here. Uh, the top base here is most prime to air attacks, or er, air attacks is the okay. Let's upgrade missile attacks level two and faster overloads, bigger overload set. Uh, and so we're gonna, what we're going to want to do is you can actually defend this top base pretty easily uh, with just a few or a few hydralisks, greater spire, with a, with a team of hydralisks, a defiler which can cast dark swarm, and uh, and also than just the basic defenses. I mean, we can take it down pretty quick, or we can do it pretty quickly. And I'm gonna get a nice canal up here, because basically I'm gonna do a ground assault up here. It's fine. I'm gonna do a ground assault up here, an air assault to the left, where it makes this base car, and then a combination of both. Um, there we go. And then a combination of both. Um, control seven now. Uh, and then a combination of both uh, when we go take the Protoss down. Okay. Uh, let's see. Good. Now we want to get a couple of Spore Colonies going here. Just in, uh, just in case. And actually, let's get... Mutalisks. Mutalisks. There we go. Oops. Excellent. Okay, let's get a spore colony. And eventually we want to expand the creep over here. Yeah, I see it. Expand the creep over here. There we go. Oh, and I also want to get my Nidus Canal up here. I'm ready to unload. Oh, did I turn on the train there? Okay, there we go. Excellent. Spore colony. Sunken colony. Oh, I see you. Go get him. I saw you, Valkyrie. I think that crap is going to work on me. Okay, now, when you see the army start to come on this side, you want to make sure that you have your defiler ready. Yeah, see? <laughs> Can I drop a sunken colony? No, I can't. Shoot. Easy, easy, easy. There you go. Don't do anything stupid now. Okay, and... Mutalisks. So eventually we can start making guardians over there. And now I'm going to wall off this entry point. Spore colony. Good. And extractor. And overlord. Oh, whoa! There you go. And honestly, that's fine. I'm not worried about that one going down because that Overlord was blinded anyway. Oh boy, go get him. Go 
Oh, that's a Reaver. Mutalisks. Go get that Reaver. I see you. Okay, you work on getting me gas, because that's... That's important. Now, careful. Alright, good. Okay, did we get that? Yes, we did. Okay, excellent. Back. Okay, let's get our air units going. Oh, I want to upgrade energy for Dark Swarm. Lurkers I don't really care about. Where's that dropship just hanging out? You know what? Let's go get it. Oh, boy! Yikes! Hydralisks there. Alright, very good. Okay, and we got some gas going there. Excellent. Let's wall this one off just a little bit more. And then that, that way this base will be defended. And we'll be good to go. They shouldn't attack us up here, but we'll be ready to go just in case. Alright, excellent. Okay, now we've got it. Did I lose a bunch of drones over here? I was like, why am I all of a sudden out of minerals? Okay, and let's see, you, Hydralisk, come over here. In fact, let's go see if we can take out that dropship. Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay, excellent. And now, let's begin. Let's begin the plan. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's get these guys going on minerals. Okay, this is going... I, I really could not have asked for a better start to this mission. I say that, and all of a sudden I get smashed by these Reavers. Uh, I just go. Okay, Guardians, sit tight. Wow, this mission's going re really well there, BCS Buster. Except for those damn Reavers. Okay, no problem. And Mutalisks. Okay, good. The first base that we're actually going to take out, I believe, is uh, the base to the west of us, which is... which is... Uh, most susceptible to, uh, air, to air attacks. Or, yeah, susceptible to air attacks. It's strong against ground attacks. Well, you know what? Let's make some lurkers. All right, now we got my economy going. Okay, fantastic. Okay, sunken spore just in case battle cruisers come over. I don't think they will, but you can never be too careful. Okay, great, my flyer attacks. Sunken, sunken. See how we now got all those minerals earlier? Yeah, we made use of those pretty quickly. Okay, got that there. Excellent. Okay, there's actually another base that we can take uh, to the far right of the map, which is very similar to this. But we're going to stage the main attack from this base here, and I may get another Nidus Canal over there. We'll see. Okay, let's get that there. Okay, very, very good. Uh, once these guys are going, we'll make Guardians here. And I'm basically going to take my t team of 12 Guardians and some Mutalisks. And then go take out the base to the west in the next episode. We probably won't get to it today, but that's okay. And Mutalisks. And yeah, the economy's rocking and rolling. We got that. We got my Defiler. Good. And uh, it, it wouldn't kill me to have a couple of Lurkers. Um, on standby, ready to go. In fact, let's get another team of Hydralisks. Just, just to... At these two bases, just in case. Okay, and... Let's get a Lurker. There you go. Now we're in business. 
get a little get a little extra there. Okay, you hydralis come down here. And let's get one more group of hydralis for defense. And we'll do that, and then we'll probably call it a day after that, because it's we've gotten a lot done. And that's recovering. Okay, yeah, we've gotten a lot done today. And I'm pleased with my progress thus far. Let's control one of them. All right, Hydras, you come over here, just in case we deal with some flyers. Oh, you know what I need? Is I need a queen's nest. Is it? Whoops. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay. Go get him. It wouldn't hurt to line this up with sunken. Okay, so here's no hold. Troll three, go get him. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Wow! I even got a race coming at me. Go get him. Oh, wow. They're coming from that side, too. Go get him. Oh, I'm taking off my drones, too. Ah, he blinded him. Yeah, I'm afraid of him. More overlords. Okay. Sunken. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, we uh we better. Okay. Well, after holding that attack, that uh, that's we'll stop it right there for now. We'll call it a day. But can we defeat, or maybe not? Thank you. Okay. Can we stop these assaults once and for all? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.